everyone, JVD from The Villains Demand here, bringing you another comic book review. Over The Flash, Rogues Reloaded, issues 14 through 19 under the Rebirth banner. This is in volume 5. Uh, it's a pretty good story. I've always liked um, The Rogues. Every time someone says Rogues Gallery, we're referring to a hero, I always think The Flash, because his group of rogues are actually called The Rogues. And uh, this is a really good story. Um, I really like when the Flash winds up taking the rogues on as a team instead of individually. Um, so far, I would say out of the three main stories out of this Flash Rebirth volume, this has probably been my favorite next to the uh, Godspeed story, which um, kind of ties into this in a way without being having Godspeed there, which I'll get to later in some spoilers. And uh, it's far, far better than the, uh, the one with uh, the shade before this. So um, I really like this story. It's got uh, some insight on some stuff that will probably happen on towards the future. But basically, uh, this is going to be the Rogue's last heist. And uh, you, I'm going to assume that uh, they had planned on retiring after this. Um, when Godspeed and, um, and the rest of the uh, citizens of uh, Central City were starting to get hit by the Speed Force Storm... Uh, the rogues, and I do believe this was probably issue one or two, uh, they left because uh, they were worried about getting caught. And obviously during this time, uh, Captain Cold has staged a plan to uh, fool the Flash and then pull off the ultimate heist so they can finally be done. And uh, by the end, uh, the Flash realizes what's going on and he catches up like any good detective should do. Um, it's a really good story. Uh, I really like this. Um, if you wind up watching this before the rest of my reviews over the Flash Rebirth stuff, um, you could read the first arc, which is 1 through 8, skip 9 through 13, and then just read this, and you'll be perfectly fine. But uh, with that said, I'll uh, get into um, some spoilers. Uh, in the beginning of this, we get to meet Sandblaster and Bone Dry, which are tied to uh, Papercut, who um, Yellow Kid Flash wind up uh yellow wally i should say um for more on how i'm separating them to make sure you watch the uh review before this for the flash but uh he kind of you know they're kind of deal with these guys and uh you realize they're kind of with paper cut so uh just some little you know wannabe villains uh rogues i should say because you know the rogues have left you know central city and they're going to start the new rogues which obviously is going to work they're really really uh bad villains uh but um cold has a plan using uh mirror master to fool the flash into getting far as away as possible as central city i can't remember where he is but it's quite a distance away and uh basically flash shows up to stop him from stealing the statue and come to find out everyone there is a mirror set up by mirror master and eventually when he starts flash starts figuring this out a uh, mirror master winds up setting these mirror images of the flash which he begins to shatter and they turn into this mirror monster that uh, is fighting him. And uh, he basically has to vibrate to 10,000 vibrations per minute to shatter this mirror monster. That is an awful lot. Um, and as you can tell, maybe you can hear on the mic, there is a battle going on outside in the storm between Weather Wizard and Flash right now. So just excuse him while I'm doing this review. Um, but anyways, uh, Flash realizes he's been duped. He heads back to Central City. Or each one of the rogues, which is Weather Wizard, Captain Cold, Heat Wave, Trickster, Golden Glider, and uh, Mirror Master, which he was already there, have all done these big hits throughout Central City and basically have come to terms that uh, they're done. And uh, Flash is too late, which kind of, as I mentioned in the beginning of this, goes back to where Flash cannot be in one place, in multiple places at one time, which was the whole thing with Godspeed. And... He kind of realizes he needs to be at this point because they have stolen a lot. But um, he winds up coming across Heat Wave because he, he realizes this is the final heist of Rogues. He goes back to Heat Wave's, uh, you know, where he grew up and it had burned down. And uh, there's a battle between the two because Heat Wave is going to burn the whole neighborhood down. And uh, Flash winds up letting him think that he's won because he knows once uh, Heat Wave. Uh, thinks that he's beating, he'll get a big head about it and he'll go back to where the rogues are. And, uh, which he does, Flash dupes him. And, uh, Captain Cold knows it's automatically because Heatwave comes in with this big head, you know, he's defeated Flash. He's finally been the first one to defeat the Flash, put him down, and Captain Cold's like, no, you fool. 
you can't beat the Flash by yourself. And sure enough, the Flash comes in and uh, winds up fighting the rogues. And Captain Cold has a surprise. He's the only person that did not steal anything worth monetary value. Um, he goes to Star Labs, I'm assuming, and he takes the uh, Speed Force gun that Black Hole had uh, attacked the Flash with, which I think was issue one. He takes that gun and combines its technology with his Cold Ray and creates this gun that uh, basically it disrupts the Flash's Speed Force. And it hurts him more than what just this black hole gun had done to him in the beginning of this whole Rebirth series. And uh, and it's pretty interesting. It just shows you just how smart that he is for a villain. He's very, very underrated. Uh, much like how we would think of the Shocker is. He's very underrated in his intelligence for a villain because everybody usually thinks so low of him. And it's really cool. But um, Flash winds up beating him. They get thrown in prison where you get to see uh, Sandblaster, Bone Dry, and Paper Cut. And... Uh, Captain Cold uh, basically declares himself that he's going to become crime boss of Central City, which is really cool. I've always liked Captain Cold. I really think he's very underrated. And I really like a lot of the rogues, uh, especially Mirror Master. Very interesting uh, character right there, just his abilities. And as a side note, there's uh, DC is very known for Halloween specials, and there's one with him where uh, there's some girls going to do Bloody Mary, and he pops out of the mirror and tells them no because she's real. But uh, throughout this book, we see Kid Flash. He's tracking down Reverse Flash, who is his father. He's being moved from Iron Heights to Bell Rev. I don't know exactly what that is, but I'm very curious to see what it goes because that's his dad. So a lot of buildup for that. But uh, rogues are captured. Captain Cold's going to be, uh, become crime boss of Central City. But I'm JVD for the Villains Van. This has been my review for Flash. Rogues Reloaded. Keep reading, guys.